Christmas day of the year 1560, we crossed the last pass of the Andes. Below us, for the first time, we can see the jungle. In the morning, I read mass, and then we descended through the clouds. and send the men down that river. And I say that we can make it. And I know I'm right.
the Indians we enslaved in the mountains are a mistake. The change in climate is killing them like flies, and we have no time even to give them a Christian burial. last day of the year, we were utterly exhausted. We made our camp not far from the river. We can't go on any longer like this, man. Our rations are nearly finished. The terrain is so difficult, we are almost at a standstill. And we cannot hope to reach a populated area for some time. So considering all these facts that confront us, I have made a new plan. It is as follows. Rafts will be built and manned by 40 men. They will have the task of finding food finding more precise indications that will tell us of the whereabouts of El Dorado and of hostile Indian. We have every reason to believe that both are near. The expedition must return here in one week, by river or by land. If it does not, we will have to assume that it has failed. And we will have to retrace our own footsteps in the hope of returning to an area governed by Christian men. Naturally, we know this will not happen as long as the Virgin Mary is on our side. After great thought on the matter, I have decided to appoint as commander of the advance group a man capable of leading you, Don Pedro de Ursua. His betrothed, Doña Inés de Atienta, will accompany him. This is against my better judgment, but she has expressed her wish with such charm and such determination that I cannot deny her request. Second in command will be Don Lope de Aguirre, a man well qualified for this. His daughter, Flores, will remain in his charge. This, too, is against my better judgment, since I think that she should have remained 
in her convent with the Holy Sisters. As in all expeditions, God's word must be brought to the heathen. And I hereby appoint Fra Gaspar de Carvajal to perform this work. The remaining 200 Indian slaves will stay behind with my group. The Royal House of Spain shall be represented by that brave nobleman, Don Fernando de Guzman, who proved his courage 10 years ago when he stormed the fortress of Saxahuaman. The very best fighters will make up this group and nobody should feel less qualified if not selected. I declare this all by document, which will be forwarded to the Council of the Indies for approval. I hereby affix my signature. Four days later, on January 4th, we started on our journey. May God be with us.
January 6th, we have managed to fight our way ashore to make a camp. One of our rafts is trapped on the other side of the river in a backlash. We couldn't hear what the men were shouting and could not help. How many on the raft? Seven and two Indians. We must try to help those poor devils again. Don't be foolish. I won't waste a man on them. Orders still come from me. They should. We'll need long ropes and some hooks. Then we'll have to go way down the river. I hope we can find a way to get across and get them out. Get some men to prepare what you need. There's no time to lose. I wonder if Armando has reached the other side yet. Those men's stomachs must be churning from all that bouncing around. What's that? They're firing over there. It must be some kind of signal. <coughs> or a battle. it very strange. Look at the oars, they're still there. The Indians must still be around us. Let's get back to camp. Move on. Keep your eyes open.
prayer from over here is not good enough, Padre. I want those men back here for a Christian burial. And you're right, my son. Their souls will rest so much better in consecrated ground. It's the least we can do for those poor men who died so bravely. Don't you think the cannon might be a little bit rusty? It might. You know very well who's responsible. If you let him get away with it this time, who knows what he will do next? That's not the problem. We have other things to worry about. There are Indians all around us. Every tree could be hiding one. No one wants to finish up like those poor men on the raft. I will be happy when we get out of this trouble. We're not about to get out of trouble this moment. Don't worry, my dear. He'll follow me. Aguirre wouldn't dare to fight against the crown of Spain. But we are not in Castile. Look what I found for you. This animal sleeps all his life away. <laughs> They're never really awake. <laughs> are gone. January 8th. Overnight, the river has risen 15 feet. When will our misfortunes cease? chains off. Would you run away? Would you? Just a minute. Isn't that my cooking pot? What are you doing with my pot? No. I think it's too heavy. Let's take it away. I'm not crazy, and I'm not going any further into this jungle. the iron. We did, sir. 
Why did you take it? Because we need all the iron we can get. What are you doing with that truck? Well, I'm carrying it from where I cut it back to the camp here. Who gave you the order? Everyone's collecting wood and iron. What's all that trouble about? Do you know Enos? You shouldn't ask. It's your father. I only know I wish it were over. Gentlemen, as your commander, I have called this assembly because I have decided that we should return to the main group. It's not my habit to retreat. We'll have to march back, as the current of the river is too strong. We should be able to get back within two weeks, as ordered by Pizarro. Because of the Indians, you know it would be suicide to go back. Whatever the cost, it is our duty to get back. To get back to Pizarro. Forget about Pizarro. And I tell all of you, we cannot achieve this mission. I say, we can conquer without Pizarro. That's why we've been collecting iron and logs to build a new raft. You remember Hernando Cortez. On the way to Mexico, he received orders to go back. He went on. Be quiet, Aguirre. He ignored the orders and conquered Mexico. Be quiet, everyone. That's why he got rich and famous. Be quiet. Because he disobeyed. Put him in chains. No. No. Stop fighting. I follow Osua. Kill him. Anyone else? What do you think is going to happen now? What if we find their waterfalls down the river? Who cares if it takes us nearer to El Dorado? Have you seen Usua? Have you seen how he's got his fist clenched? He must have something in it. you think that they will finish him off? Would you have the guts to, to stop them?
You are the only person who can help us. I'm sure he'll kill Ursula and Amando. He won't stop now. He'll finish what he started. You are my last hope. Thou turnest man to destruction. Then thou sayest, Come again, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight, art what is a yesterday, seeing that is past as a watch in the night. As soon as thou scatterest them, they are even as asleep, and fade away suddenly like the grass. You know, my child, for the sake of our Lord, the church has always been on the side of the strong. Like you with us. We need men like you. You have time to think about it. But not long. Now we've eliminated the troublemakers, we must elect a leader. For me, the choice is obvious. We should elect the biggest and strongest nobleman we have. What, me? Yes, you. Well, gentlemen, I propose Guzman as our next leader. Who else is for him? I propose Don Lope de Aguirre should stay as second in command. All those in favor? My people have seen earthquakes, diseases, floods, but what the Spaniards did to us, it's much more terrible. They have given given me the name of Balthazar, but my real name is Runo Rimac. What's that name? Runo Rimac. He who speaks. I was a prince in this land, and my people had to look to the ground, and no one was allowed to look into my eyes. My people are in chains, just like me, and I must look to the ground. All of us have been made weaker. I cannot fight you. Fight with yourselves. I'm very sorry for you, because there is no way out, and I'll never return to my home. Also, 
Because of our mutiny, we have to make our position legal. Read this document. Caesarian King, by the grace of God, through our Holy Mother, the Roman Church, name King Philip II of Castile. We, the undersigned, have until yesterday, the seventh day of the year 1561, after the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ, regarded ourselves as your servants and subjects. Since we have been separated by more than 200 leagues from your servant, Gonzalo Pizarro, fate, the help of God, and the work of our hands have driven us down a river called Wayaga by the natives in search of a new gold country. We have decided to put an end to the quirks of fate. We are forging history, and no fruit of this earth shall henceforth be shared. We rebel to the death. And we solemnly so declare, and our hands shall be torn off and our tongues dry up if this is not so, the house of Habsburg, devoid of all its rights. And you, Philip II, King of Castile dethroned, by dint of this declaration, be you annihilated. In your place we proclaim the noble knight from the city of Sevilla, Don Fernando de Guzman, Emperor of El Dorado. Flee, flee from hence, O King, and may God your soul. Fortune smiles on the brave and spits on the coward. Let's cut our ties with Spain and crown Don Fernando de Guzman Emperor of El Dorado. What? You call this a throne? What else is a throne but a plank and some velvet, Your Majesty? See how he dragged himself? And that's no arrow wound. It's a sword thrust. I wonder who helped Armando. January 10th. Armando has escaped from his prison. The man who took over the watch at three o'clock was murdered. his men. As long as Orsua is alive, you will never be safe. What can I do about it? Kill him. As long as I'm emperor, we must uphold the law. No execution without a trial. Try him. 
and then kill him. But it must be a public trial. He still has sympathizers. Perucho, to the witness stand. What did you find out from Ursua? Nothing. Three men together couldn't open his fist. He must have something in it. The only way to find out is to chop his hand off. He hasn't spoken either, except for some rubbish. But last night he had visitors. The whole thing reeks of conspiracy to me. Ask him if it's true that he received money from Ursua. Yes, it's true. It was pay money for Orsman. Next witness. Okello, is it true that you were also in the pay of Orsua? I was Pizarro's slave. Then he gave me away to this expedition. And for him, the Indians would be frightened by a horse but they'd be scared stiff of a black man. Well, I don't know why, but Usua gave me money now and again. What does the accused have to say? I want to speak. In Spain, I had a lot of servants. I paid them. And we think it's just to pay our servants here, too, even if they are Indians. And time will prove Ursua is right. We understand your confusion, my child. You're excused. The jury, having heard all the evidence, finds the accused guilty of treason. My unpleasant duty as president of the first court of His Highness Don Fernando is to sentence Pedro de Asura to death by hanging. I confirm the verdict, but as today is the anniversary of the last Moor leaving Spain, I grant him clemency. His life will be spared, but he will forfeit all rights as a citizen of El Dorado. Half of his shares will go to the church, and the other half will be divided among my soldiers. January 12th. In the morning, we took off with a new raft. Ursua is still alive, but he refuses to speak. Look, a fire! At noon, we saw a big fish? fire. Look closer to shore. Prime your muskets, men. I don't see signs of life. So be alert. Could be an ambush. Put the Negro up front. As we feared an ambush, we took off the clothes of the Negro slave to frighten the Indians. Like 
Batman. Get up there. Keep him. Keep him in front. Go on. I want all the men forward. Get away from that fool. God, cannibals. Hey, move your men back to the rear. The discovery right. that there lived cannibals at this place disturbed us so much that we hastened to leave this horrible place. January 20th, the mountains are behind us. The shelter Agiri had us build is a great help against the cruel sun. The river is so slow that we hardly seem to be moving. Aguirre, I know exactly what you intend to do to Ursua. Every last detail. <laughs> and God will punish you for it. What's going on? 
I can't hear a thing. It's so still all at once. Yes, not a sound. Shh. So that we can hear. The gunpowder! It's on fire! than it's worth. Father, come here. He's dead. Look how short the arrow is. Poison. Must belong to a dwarf. Fire! Make noise! Hurry! What are we to aim at? I see something over there. Just shoot, you idiot! Play something for the man. Look, isn't that a canoe? Where? Coming towards us, over there under those trees. Keep the raft in midstream. It might be a trap.
January 24th. For the first time, we saw two Indians. They seemed to be friendly. One of them is a woman. Yeah. See how they're dressed. Pull the boat over. I got the man. Here he is. And I got the woman. Look. Woman, yeah. Fresh fish. Right. <laughs> What's he saying? He says, he's a Yagua. It was foretold that one day the sons of the sun would come from a long way through great hardship to this land and that they make clouds and thunder noise which they produce out of tubes. They have been waiting for the sons of the sun because here on this river God's work of creation is not yet finished. Look at this gold. Where did he get this? Where did you get that? Where did it come from? Huh? What the? What's up? Gold. Gold. Ask him where he got that. Ask him where El Dorado is. Where does this gold come from? Manu say, Pupatai? Hatte. Where did he say? Has this savage heard of our savior, Jesus Christ, and of our true mission to save their souls? This is a Bible. It contains the words of God, which we are bringing to enlighten the darkness of their world. Has he understood? that in this book are stored the words of God. You may hold it, my son. He says he does not speak. Kill him for his blasphemy. The way will be hard. These savages are difficult to convince. It won't be long. El Dorado could be only a few days away. No more rusty cannons. We'll shoot our enemies with golden cannonballs. And you, Okello, will serve my food on golden platters. And all of us will get something out of this, too. Governorships, provinces, women. Maybe I'll even be free. Don't let's forget the most important part of this mission. To bring salvation to these savages. I'm sure you would like a golden cross encrusted with jewels, Karbahal, instead of the poor silver one you have lost. All the land we see to the left 
and all the territory to the right now belongs to us. I solemnly and formally take possession of all this land. Our land is already six times larger than Spain. And every day we drift makes it bigger. Have you seen any solid ground recently to support your weight? No salt. Or you can find fish and fruit now and then. Salt? You ran out days ago. Besides that, we're down to counting our last grains of corn. Hey, the horse is loose. Grab him. Look out, he's kicking. Hey, get him by his ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got him. Look out, look out. Hold on, hold
I think he is a dead man. I have seen in Mexico an army of Indians flee at the sight of just one horse. And besides, we could have all eaten a week on that meat. After the Emperor's death, Osua's fate was sealed. The next morning, some of the soldiers took him away, and we never saw him again. What are they shouting about? They say, meat, meat, fresh meat is passing by. Yeah. <laughs> 
Keep shooting to frighten them. Don't go in the jungle. He's disappeared. <coughs> Let's try to make it back by land. We're sitting ducks on the raft. Mm -hmm. What the hell does he care anyway? Two men, more or less, are all the same to him. Mm -hmm. It's suicide to go on. If we use our heads, we can get back to Pizarro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This expedition is doomed. We followed her tracks for about a half a league into the jungle, then lost all trace of her. Then one of the men in the troop got panicky over that damn silence. It always comes just before someone gets killed. So we came back. It's worse than it is with this madman, believe me. That man is a head taller than me. That may change. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. I'll tell you my plans. I've been counting the curves of the river. Look, I've drawn a map here in the sand. It will take us a day for each curve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm the great traitor. There must be no other. Anyone who even thinks about deserting this mission will be cut up into 98 pieces. Those pieces will be stamped on until what is left can be used only to paint walls. Whoever takes one grain of corn or one drop of water more than his ration will be locked up for 155 years. If I, Aguirre, want the birds to drop dead from the trees, then the birds will drop dead from the trees. I'm the wrath of God. The earth I pass will see me and tremble. Whoever follows me in the river will win untold riches. Whoever deserts...
away from the trees, you fools. Get back in the middle of the stream. I thought it would hurt much more than this. Oh, you fools! Fire your guns! I'm not paid to get up there and get killed. The 1st of February, the men's morale is very low. I spoke about this with Aguirre. Things are turning out different than we expected. All we've seen is hunger, fear and death. We are losing men, but we never see our enemy. Even El Dorado till now seems to be only an illusion. The conquest of Mexico was no illusion. Even if we turn back now, others will follow us. And they'll succeed. And we will remain nobodies. Even if this land is only trees and water, they will take it and it will be milked dry by those who follow us. These men measure riches in gold. It's more. It's power and fame. I despise them for it. I am sure Aguirre is leading us to our deaths. I do not know if he does it deliberately or not. We cannot even find a place to land as the rising level of the river has flooded the jungle for miles around. The 22nd of February. Most of the men are so weak and sick with fever that they cannot even stand. The soldier, Justo Gonzalez, has drunk my ink, thinking it was medicine. I cannot write anymore. We are drifting in circles. I see a boat with sails and a treetop. And from the stern hangs a canoe. That boat is just a mirage. No tide can wash it up that high. 
We've all got the fever. It's your imagination. I've heard of this happening to men who have been put to too much strain. Shut up, punk. That boat is real, and we're going to get it, repair it, and sail it to the Atlantic. No, Lope de Aguirre. I will not come with you. We are tired and hungry. It's not a boat. It's not a tree. This is no arrow. We only see arrows because we're afraid of them. Those arrows are real! Take cover! Do not forget to pray. Lest God's end be uncomely. the sea. We'll build a bigger boat. And with it we'll sail north and take Trinidad away from the Spanish crown. From there we'll go on and take Mexico from Cortez. What a great betrayal that will be. Spain, and we will stage history as others stage plays. is 
with me.